Time to cross the sea. Back to Norway with Sigurd. Sigurd, shall we then, Eivor, to Norway and well beyond? Well, you're going beyond. Uh, I'm going to leave you to it. <laughs> to Norway. Then. Let's do it. Good, good. Lead on. He's excited. That didn't take very long. Well, gee, we're already here. So strange. Little has changed, but it feels unfamiliar. A few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. More sailors! Where are we? Oh, we're going to the north. Why aren't we going to Fornberg? Why are we going to... Why are we going to Auristad? Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is full, the poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Uh, that might not go well. I just have a feeling. Ah, oh, this place looks great. I wish more of the game took place in Scandinavia. Norway, Sweden. We'll pick up from there. Alrik starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Dock the ship here. Hush now. Well, here we are. They're probably wondering who the fuck we are. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the meat halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them without care. You are Chipper, brother. We were speaking. You are Chipper, brother. Oh, I can kill them. It makes me think they're going to become our enemy. Soaker, he never leaves. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just once, I'd have him take a bath. There he is. 
We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor! By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Oh boy. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside oh. all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. What have you done with yourself since? Drink heavily and weep for what might have been? I have... I have worked hard to broker peace across our land. ...to spread Harald's message of unity. I heard you sleep beneath Harald's bed... ...always at his back and call... ...and that he uses your gaping mouth as a chamber pot. You make light of my service to a great and powerful man. Is that how you treat those who serve you, Sigurd? You pathetic worm! Sigurd... ...this is not why we came. Plans change. Sigurd... As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief. Your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate. He to was save a fool. His family at he the cost failed. Of his reputation. No. My father, he. He was. He loved you. That is all. Arkur nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd. From the day you were born. I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. We avoided them. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He's my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor.
This sad business is finished. Good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. Where are we going? To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Abel. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. <laughs> Still dwelling on your father. Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. We have come a long, long way in search of the hazy vision, Sigurd. Be careful. Good Eivor. I would not lead you blindly into the unknown. Have faith that what I know is true, and where we go is real. You should know... Okay. You are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Okay. We're all. Wait, so where are we going? Far north. Okay. Run up the sail! Daughters of Aegir, bless our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet. With every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plans onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. We're getting close to our destination. So this is the end. Of Sigurd somehow. White rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris on a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would!
We're just about here. I mean, this is a complete dead end. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good idea. Follow me into this kingdom of snow. Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, the sting of ice and skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? For the ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you. We must go to them. We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. I don't know. I feel like they're touching me right now. How much further? Uh, it's as bitter cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. What is it? something here what is this there a frozen lake this must be it and ahead lies a cavern will you not say where this leads you will see soon enough I'm too late to turn back I fear there the cave within hides the sacred gate sacred gate I mean, this is a place. He's not wrong. The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? Why me? You can do it. Damn, he is in a hurry. My heart races. This is it. Gods. The storm. Oh. Have you seen this before? In the space above, the Saga Stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svakhoi nogvat uns membro trurvondi gvorde uns solas vras gnogadide unsum hukas reis derae hukas saunsi. What language was that? How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come, gods. What is this place?
Over here. This plate will lead us onward. Okay. Maybe he's right. Maybe he is a god. Is he gonna die? I don't know what to say. This is all so strange. Trust this place, Avon. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain, the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. Any finer in this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. It's quite a black screen. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall, 